Now, regarding uh, them staying off the property, as I told you, Trish, uh, that's not going to happen. They're going to stay on the property because it's their Shabbat too. But, but uh, Greg, I want you to uh, to address, if you will, y'all's behavior that she was talking about last night. And I think it's fair to say you'll be staying in the tent. You're not going to be staying yes. in that room. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I agree. We we were we were very tired. We drove 20 two hours to get here. And we were wore out and we had worked i mean we had literally uh you know worked up 20 something pallets yesterday um our backs are tired we are i mean wore out and we needed rest and in warmth and so that is why i mean you know if if a man is, is well, i mean these guys are working with me and whatever and so i have to you know look out for them as well and these guys were tired they broke, broke 20 hours to get here and to do this so work. It was cold. It was, it was cold last night. You it was cold, and yes, and like I said, uh, Brother David did go to the to, to the Spring Hill. He picked himself up a six pack of beer, which is you know that's that's his business. He paid he made with his money, and so that, sure. I can't you know I, I don't I can't I mean I I uh, Aaron uh, last time I was here on Shabbat you went to the store and got beer as well and sit here and drink. Did you not? I yeah, saw but, them yeah, there. We didn't uh, have you guys problem. sleeping outside wait, my wait, bedroom wait, door. Wait, 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 I understand. Wait, wait, and wait, sharing wait, a bathroom. Wait, 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 wait. We're not going to do. We're not going to do that. We're going to deal with this situation. And so, Aaron, yes. you do admit that you had beer and alcohol here the last time we, me and Joel, and all these guys were here. You, I, we, we seen. It's okay. okay. I don't. I don't have a I problem would, with any of that. I would just like to address what I view as respect. When we was here with receiving the Spanish shipment, Jamie and Rachel was still here. We did not even come inside the house with them still well, here. Well, uh, uh, I'll tell you, that was uh, largely because of their attitudes at the time. No, that's and, my uh, view of respect. Well, uh, well uh, let me say this there, Aaron. Well, I appreciate your consideration of those folks. These men are our guests at the property that belongs to how these scriptures. And we're all believers and walkers and followers of the way and and uh, now uh, greg can i get your uh you know uh, where's the firearm firearms in the truck okay now uh so you guys will stay out in it but now look I mean, they gotta use the bathroom, the bathroom truck's my property there. i can't you know it's, 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 yeah i mean i don't ever go anywhere without without my second amendment so oh, no no i got you no i no, and it's where it's supposed to be i just want to Trying to put Trish's uh, fears to bed. Right. Uh, there was no need for you to shoot it off last time. I've known you for many, many years. Greg. Actually, there was. Yeah, no, there was the no. dog I mean, would not crush, and we were trying to communicate with each other. That is our dog. I understand that. No, when, you don't. That was discharging, disrespectful. Discharging a firearm. I apologize. Out of frustration. I apologize. Hey, huh. hey, can we agree that it was disrespectful? Yes. I agree. All right, then it was disrespectful. Do you agree agrees. to forgive me, or are you going to hold it in a grudge? Over that? I'll forgive you for that. Do you, will you hold it in a grudge against me? No. Well, okay. Well, and well, you've agreed well, to forgive well, me, I, and I, I, I apologize. Thank you. I apologize. Okay, great. Now, this is the way In Yahweh's name, I apologize. If I yeah, offended no, no, you in any way. You have greatly. Thank I, you for your apology. Please forgive me. I am not here to offend anyone. I am here to move these scriptures. Out because that is what they that is that that's what's going to happen. I didn't make and this stop decision. Treating us like the enemy. I didn't that make is this how decision. You have been coming across. I didn't make this decision. Yeah, I know. And so, therefore, I am simply a servant of Yah. One and one decision that I will respectfully make very clear because that is my responsibility, is that it is your personal responsibility, both you and Robert. To personally search out this matter matter diligently according to the Torah to see if this abomination has been done among us and to not put your hand with the wicked to do wrong and steal the offerings of Yahuwah and give them unto a whore. Now Trish, now let me say this Trish, I said in the text today and I'm going to say it again, we're not going to discuss anything that are rumored. We're not going to discuss anything that is it is up to you to search it out. Making this move, no you guys have it it's not you a fiction letter. It's not a you fiction did. I, I still you have no clue what you're talking about, brother. I have asked Danny. And you said you saw it on the statement yourself. I did. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, you won't stand and I look, before you and I look, that that's I all look, I have to and say. And I looked on the right matter. back at it and asked Danny to double check it. Is that a problem? So all I have to say on the matter is okay. to remind you to search out the matter diligently. It's between you and Yah. That's Yob, right. Yob. That's exactly right. It will stay between me and Yah. Yes, it will. And it's, it, that's that's that, all information, as far as my personal life, will stay between me and Yahweh. And Absolutely. so that's for sure. And I mean, me and my wife, Danny, we have, we're we're volunteers. We don't receive one dime for this at all. I never all. said you did. And so. We we are simply here to be servants of Yah and to move His scriptures out to the people. And who now that want you it. have the, now that you have heard the allegation, it is up to you to search it out diligently and see if it is true and see if your heart is going to What did she say? I can hear. She says it's up to me to now diligently search out this accusation and see if it's true. No, 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 no that's what Torah no, says. No, no, no. Yes, if I had uh, 35 years of the ministry, Father had me in and gospel music searched out and tried to run down every babbling thing that somebody said about me. This is not babbling. It's hard to prove. It. We don't do that. It, listen, people say what they want for their own reasons. Who knows why and who Whoa. cares why? And, Whoa, and I just you. wanted to add my name to it. Anything you can say about anybody, please add the name Robert Lou to it because I'll raise my hand and say please I'm guilty. I've been race. guilty, but let me tell you what I'm doing now. Judgment I am is coming. propagating the word of the Father to the power of the Scriptures. That's our mandate. That's what the that only property is all is about. Under, yeah. That's why you folks have come there, and and now we're going to sell it and 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 break and every word way. that you gave. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't understand. And break every word that you gave. I I could not understand. It. Just say that one more time. And break every word that you gave. Well, we're not going to start kissing yes at all. Uh, if you have grievances and word that I brought, Ezekiel I brought, 33 please, just please, tells me to warn, and I have done so. Please, I am please, done. Please put it in an email, and I'll answer anything that I get myself. Oh, it will be in an email. And, the next step uh, is and listen, I will not qualify or clarify anything the Father has moved upon me to do, period. I just don't do it. If I screw up, and believe me, young ladies and gentlemen, I do, and it won't be the last time. I'm not going to I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. I'm going to, if, if there's something that I did that demand repentance, I'm going to repent. I'm going to get up, and I'm going to keep moving and not talk about it again. But there'll be plenty of things to talk about. Look for something on me, y'all, because you'll find it. And I'll speak to it all day long. At the same time, I'm going to tell you that here's what I'm doing today, and here's the track record of today, and and uh, and that's the way I feel about it. If you want to accuse me of breaking my word, Chris, please put it in the form of a letter. Tell me exactly what I what I've been stated. They will be staying on property. I said, somebody talking. Yeah, you broke your word today. You said they'd be staying off property when I told you that I felt uncomfortable when that's where I sleep. Well, now I tell you what I did. <clears throat> you want to read carefully what I said. What I said was that Greg was aware you had made your point with Greg, and he would be arranging to sleep off the property tonight. That's what I said. That wasn't giving you my word. That was characterizing the situation that Greg had already made me aware of. I knew it. I wasn't surprised to hear from you. And so what I told you was, he knows it. He's aware of it. And he's planning to leave. Now that's my word. And when uh, we just texted a while ago, my word at that time has been updated. That property belongs to Hallelujah Scriptures tonight and tomorrow at Shabbat. And those and we have until February 16th. from HS will be staying on that property, and nobody is going to feel threatened because that's just not. You don't get to pick how people feel. Pardon me. You don't get to choose how people feel. But also, let me say this, Trish, there's nothing in the contract that makes us responsible for how you may or may not feel. No, that but it does. No, but housing is included, and you're not allowed to encroach on our housing. And that's what you're wait, doing wait, by wait, being wait, on wait, this wait, property. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. You're, are you quoting the contract? Because if you're going to quote the contract, quote the contract. Mm -hmm. Housing is included, and we're not encroaching upon your housing. You... Like the last time when Greg and I were there, we didn't encroach on your housing. Victoria and Aaron were kind enough to make other arrangements to allow us to stay there. They weren't there given a choice. Shalom told us to do that. They weren't given a choice. We were ordered to do that. 
But I'm sorry, say, say that again and speak a little softer because it cuts your words out. We were told to do that by Shalom. We were not given a choice. They were told to get out of the camper for you guys to sleep in it. They slept on the well, floor in the office, in the room that's my room now. Well, I appreciate that. I, I, I do appreciate that. I didn't know how it worked out, but I will tell you this. There's enough room there to accommodate brethren who are a part of the Hallelujah Scriptures. And with all due respect or not, you don't get to choose who we determine will stay there. You're incumbent upon you to accommodate as best you can and be a... Uh, a godly representative of of uh, and a, uh, and a servant of the Father through the, through HS and our properties. So thank you for allowing me to sleep there. I, I would have done differently if I had known, uh, you know, Greg and I could have stayed anywhere. Thank you, but Robert. I, I, I really appreciate you. it. And we're going to do the same thing tonight and over Shabbat. And my suggestion is remember, Yah does not give us a spirit of fear. Don't be afraid. It's not if you entertain fear. It's not of him. He gives us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So let's all grab a hold of the soundness of our mind in him and recognize that we are not enemies. We are brethren. We are not. We are. are, Wait, say, I'm sorry, say again. We are not putting our hand with the wrong. We're not doing it. Trish is cutting you off. I didn't hear any full word you said. I'm done. Can you guys please go? Uh, she's saying she's done. She's asking us to leave. Wait, she's done what? Done with the conversation. She, Trisha says she's done with the conversation. She's asking us to leave. I assume you're well, going to start anyway. But I want to know that you guys have access to that bathroom in the warehouse. And, and I'm right, you're staying uh, in tents. Is that correct? Yes, we're staying in a tent. And Trish and Aaron, you folks are required of the Father to be kind to your brethren. And that's why and we have executed Matthew 18. I'm sorry, I, I can't understand they, you. I, I'm, I, not, I'm tired of repeating myself. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. She said that she said that they that's why they have executed Matthew 18. I'm sorry, I, that doesn't make any sense. I don't to me. I don't know I don't know what that means, so I have no idea. No, I, I'm not sure exactly either. Uh, We've but, gone uh, to you with the problem, just is, like Matthew 18 calls for. As long as we're executing now, whatever you're executing, too. you don't execute the brethren. You That's all not. be kind to one the another. The protocol for, each other for Matthew 18. The word says. And, Enacted. And that's just it. Enacted. They, she said they, they she said they, they have enacted Matthew 18. Well, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what you're talking about. It's very presently. Let's not play that. Let's not play that. Because this I'm giving the directive as the president of the Holy Scriptures and Chip Gregg there is the vice president of the Holy Spirit. So you've got the head guys telling you right now you will be kind to each other. These men who are working uh, when Shabbat is over to get this stuff moved, uh, they will stay there as long as they need to stay there, and you will all make preferential preferential treatment to one another. Amen. That's just the way it is. And and, uh, everybody be kind and go get you some sleep and take a deep breath and let's be thankful. I agree. All right, anybody got anything to say to me while I'm on the phone? You left? I don't think so. All right, let me say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shalom, brother. brother. All right, good night. Love you, Robert. I don't have any hard feelings toward anybody, but I don't do that. I don't keep hard feelings. I don't do that. I, my father was a pastor for 45 years. And we've learned a long time ago he don't keep hard feelings. That's awesome. And, and so I really pray I that do, you search this matter out. I do apologize for any offense I have caused. And like I said, I, I do not mean or to scare or anything like that. But I also know that I, I am a man. A real man. And so real men sometimes are strong. 
We're all accountable. To We're all accountable. accountable. And I will be accountable to Yahweh just like you for every word, every thought, every deed. Yes. And so that that's the that's that's the, is every thought, every word, every deed. So the thought that happens, and the word happens, and the deed happens. And what y'all need to understand is that that is my actual living space, the only place that I have to pray out loud to the Father. And we are in a battle that you don't even understand because well, you won't look at it, man. Really. Well, that's the only place. I, that is not the point. That is a straw man argument. I understand. But understand from my standpoint, it doesn't matter to me. If I go to sleep in a tent, if I'm sleeping on top of the containers. That's fine. I'll sleep on top of the containers. All right. If that makes you comfortable. Then but y'all need it didn't to matter be this morning or yesterday. Right. He told you that it made me uncomfortable and you didn't care. I had to have a place to sleep last night. We yeah. didn't have time to put a tent up last night. Where was we supposed to go? Your uncomfortability is not my concern. Right. I don't. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. You can go somewhere else. We 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 we've tried everything. We can't. That we can't go true. anywhere. That we can't. We true. can't go emotions, anywhere. You can yes, you can. If else. she can spend five hundred dollars on a whore in one pop, <laughs> then you guys can. Then she can spend Check it on a all hotel. All through my life and see if I've ever done that. It's right. It's business it's either right. way. I've never. We've never done that. I said her. Shalom, a.k.a. Deborah, purchased a whore, Mistress Alani, out of Melbourne, Australia, on March the 10th of 2022. You're just throwing things out there. No, I, there's proof, man. I'm telling you to look at it. They're useless information. Okay. I don't need okay. But like I said, we're not here to discuss those things. Right. Right. We're there's, already a, there's already an investigation in New Zealand for international wire fraud that's, and embezzlement on her. And if you keep putting yourself with her, you will go down with her. Look, my, Please look at it and sever name, it. My name is on... Uh, the bank documents that she's using, yes, I know. I know that, and so it's fine. That's terrifying. Because guess We what? don't want anything to happen to you either. I have a business. I own my own business. That's I own, that can okay. be put into question too with the yes. authorities. So because I own she's my, laundering money. Because I own my own business, because I own my own business, I know how businesses operate, and I know how how funds operate. She's all had these you things. move her memorabilia that th- that she then sells and launders the money through the <laughs> through the charities. There's proof. I have no clue what you're talking about. Because you won't look at it. Because it's not my business to look at it. It is. No, it's not. Then you're ignoring scripture. Because you're supposed to diligently search out a matter before you answer it without making yourself a fool. I don't make my I make myself a fool for the sake of Yeshua all the time. I do that. That's not what it says. You're twisting a scripture. I make myself to be a fool. You should all say so. I make myself, I base myself to all men. Abasing yourself is different. It It says to diligently search out the matter. And to not answer a matter before you have heard the whole. I thing. have heard it. I have said. I've you seen, have not. We see all the bank records. <laughs> My wife is the treasurer. All this stuff. And so this is. It's not. It's not. A, I mean, Della Horvath has. She's also the co-treasurer. Della I Horvath know, is dude, still the co-treasurer. Did you know she still got the PayPal in Alan's name and he's dead? That's fraud. It goes to his daughter. It's still fraud. <sighs> no, it's not. Oh my goodness. No, it's not. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. And that's exactly right. So so Aaron using my card on my name? Yeah. When he has written your written proof with your permission, we have that. Exactly. You have that. But what you don't have is the bank records of everything that was purchased. We do. Yeah, I know. And so that's, and when you see that Mr. Solani and you turn a blind eye, y'all will hold you accountable. That's okay. I'm okay. I'm happy to be struck dead by Yahweh if I'm wrong. Okay. I will be happy to strike dead because I'm be telling you something. Careful what you I say, have, please. Yes, I will be. I'm not, I I am very careful with my words. When the Ruach says to me, "Don't worry about what's going on because you got work to do," that's what I'm gonna do. And so, and I'm not worried about y'all striking me dead or anything like that. Why am I worried about that? Because I know my heart is 100% for Yahuwah. I know my heart, and I know Della has prayed, and she's praying right now for Greg Murray. Why? Because she loves me, and because I know her. And I'm, that and, has nothing and so to do with the I know situation. it has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just telling you that uh, you know we have people praying too. And so I know you guys are thinking that you know New Zealand is the enemy and all this other stuff. No. But and that's no. okay. That's okay. That is not it. We we have been 
begging for her to repent, and instead she attacks us. I, I don't. And I, as soon as we start asking questions and stop being her whipping boy, she starts cutting off everything and breaking all the promises and sending you guys to do her dirty work, and you do it. Well, is, is, is that what she used Alan for? So Alan was doing her dirty work too. Alan Horvath. He Horvath's? was her front man, getting her all of the donations. <laughs> this is this this it's is an accusation so that doesn't. Right, you're right. His accusations are unfounded. Please stay away from us. Yes. Stay away from We'll, we will stay. Uh, I've asked you're, you're the one that you. I didn't ask you to stay. I asked you to go. So right. I'm you gonna talk to go. if you're talking. That's fine. So if you don't want to hear it, go, David. But no, he's here as a witness. Okay, but he's the, he's telling me to stop. I asked y'all to go already, and you're still talking. So if you want to hear it, we'll you're talk. the one slinging the accusations. So you're the one that hasn't looked at the proof, so you can't even say what it is. Accusations.